Shut up and sit down. Constitution of India speech. Speech on Constitution of India for students and children in English. Good morning to all the judges and everyone present here today. My name is your name and I am going to speak about the Constitution of India. India has been under British rule for almost two centuries. In the earlier part of the 20th century, the Indian rebellion grew to declare the right to rule and govern themselves. The people of India wanted their own constitution. It was the Congress party who first demanded the Constituent Assembly. The British government accepted the demand in 1940. A Constituent Assembly was formed to write the draft of the Constitution of India. The first president of the Constituent Assembly who was selected was Dr. Sachitananda Sinha and Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was selected as the chairman. Being the chairman of the drafting committee, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar played a massive role in the drafting of the Indian Constitution. Hence, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar is known as the father of the Indian Constitution. It took six years to draw up the draft for the Constitution of India by the Constituent Assembly. It was completed on 26th November 1949. This day is celebrated as the National Constitution Day of India. In the next year, on 26 February 1950, the Constitution of India came into effect and became the supreme law of the country. The time between 26th November 1949 and 26 February 1950 was used to write the Hindi version of the same draft of the Constitution of India. The Constitution of India is the longest constitution to be written by any country in the world. It was influenced by other constitutions from other countries like the French Constitution, the Constitution of Japan, etc. By officiating the Constitution, India became a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic. It declared justice for every Indian, liberty of thought and expression, equality and fraternity. The Constitution of India describes how the building blocks of the Indian political structure should be and the dictates duties of the government. It gives every Indian their fundamental rights as a human being. With the constitution of India coming into effect at long last, it had immense significance. It signified the complete uprooting of British dominance. It signified a country where their people govern its people. It declared equality for all, which was non-existent in the British hierarchy. India has faced many problems post-independence, like rehabilitation of the refugees who migrated from Pakistan, merging of the independently governed princely states, and maintenance of law and order. Sardar B. Patel successfully merged the princely states, which was a difficult task. The constitution of India was framed in such a way to cover and ease all the challenging tasks mentioned above. The formation of the constitution of India signified the complete uprooting of the British Raj. The adoption of the Indian constitution signified the complete upheaval of British rule. Through the adoption of the National Constitution of India, India declared itself as the democratic republic in the world. The Constitution of India is one of the most significant building blocks for 
modern Indian society as it is today. Its influence is vast and far-fetched. It teaches us Indians how we should live in peace and harmony as brothers and sisters. Thank you.